everybody. I'm Brian Collins, Realtor, and I know you're thinking not another COVID-19 message. Uh, first of all, I hope this message finds you well and in these certain times, um, like the times we're experiencing now, your physical and mental health are paramount. You know, um, People can be really crazy and frankly, the coronavirus isn't the only thing that's highly contagious. Panic like we see at the grocery stores and fear like we see in the media are all very real contagions. So let's focus on what we can control. Um, maybe it's just time to cut some unnecessary expenses to help your family, or maybe since the kids are out of school, like a good deep clean of the house. And um, you know, speaking of family, cherish and encourage yours. Um, be mindful of your actions so you can plan for the worst, but you can live for the moment and still be present. This is not a permanent situation. And lastly, help your neighbors. Um, donate items that you plan to get rid of anyways to shelters or churches or even someone that you might know of in need. Um, the weather, at least here in Southern California, really isn't helping anyone with the wind, the rain, and the cold temperatures. Um, and this can be really devastating to older friends and family. So couple that with a situation at the grocery stores for even simple items, and it can be really dangerous for those over 65 or with people with health conditions. Like Alan says, you know, be kind to one another. And also you should know that if you're ready to buy or sell, it's still a good time to do it. Interest rates are fluctuating, but they're still at historical lows. I mean, the average over the last seven years is 4.01%. Um, and I'm 100% committed to a minimal contact transactions. This means I offer virtual showings over FaceTime or Duo, digital signatures over emails, and for the absolutely necessary face-to-face, -face, we can have a mobile notary go right to you so there's minimal exposure, you don't even have to leave your house. So I want you to be as safe as possible, and it's a really weird time out there right now, so let's all do our part and keep our, your and our life all the interruptions to a minimum. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Wipe down your phones. Maybe we're all getting used to not touching our faces. I didn't even think that that was a thing that I even did until I until it became urgent that I you know don't do it. Um, but we're still handling our phones out in public and then they go into our pockets. And then just because you washed off the outside when you got home from your hand, you've probably forgot the device in your pocket. So check your waterproof rating before you do this, but most newer phones are okay to wash with water and soap. If you have one that's not waterproof, some rubbing alcohol, Clorox wipes, or very diluted bleach solution should be good to wipe it down with or you know, keep it in a life-proof case that will seal it up and make it waterproof and wash it regularly. Um, there's an article linked below from CNET that kind of tells you how to you know, sanitize and disinfect your phone. So that's really all I have for all of that. Um, I really just want everybody to be careful out there. I just really want you to know that you know, uh, if you need anything that we're here for you, I'm here for you. Um, and you know, I hope that you guys stay safe and I hope you keep your family safe and healthy. All right, thanks so much. Hope you guys have a great week. See you later. Bye.